Now, another unorthodox use for a, uh, actually, I, I won't say it's unorthodox. Um, one of the guys that first taught me how to engineer, uh, Phil Benton, showed me this. I'd been engineering about an hour. Um, okay, here's my, here's my uh, kick drum. Here's without compression, a little, little compression, it's not even really moving the meter, but watch the attack on the gate. These, these factors aren't really coming into play. Uh, if you really want to, to, to get it to, to give you some snap, So that's kind of like a little cheap way to get some uh, attack on a on a on a kick drum. Now, these two knobs. Um, you know what? Let me let me explain something to you guys. On this one, what I'm doing is I'm I'm not side chaining anything. So this is just straight across the output of the kick drum, and you can you can affect how the uh, kick drum is is controlling the gate by rolling out some low end, rolling out some high end, and if you want to hear what you're doing, you can listen to the side chain on, with this key listen. Now, side chain and key are, are, are the same thing. And that's a little picture of the key. There's no key here. So, um, I don't know why I'm showing it to you now, but better late than there, never. Okay, this one is kind of neat. I had, uh, uh, had a clap that I thought was pretty good, but I just wanted, it was just a little on the clean side for me. So, um, this is my clap. Sounds a little bit like a kick, Dave. Well, I'm glad you're paying attention. Okay. Now, I wanted to add some dirt, so what I did was I took one of Colin's synthesizers over at McDSP, created a little dirty sound. Let's put the gate behind it. Blammo, gone. Okay, now we're going to key the gate with bus 20. Bus 20 is being sent from here. I'm on pre. It's being sent from my clap. So now watch this. Here's without it. Let's add the sync. Here's just the sound being triggered. Uh, if I had more time, I could um, we'll make it a little darker. A little short, you know what? Let's make that a little longer.
Anyway, you get the idea. We can change the length, you know, and make it anything we want. Um, you can you can you can take a radio FM radio and put it in between stations and gate that and add that back in. Um, okay, and like I said, these techniques don't 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 think that it has to be just a snare drum. It can be any number of things. Now I'm gonna show you a vocal. Um, Okay, I've got this vocal, and let me get a little bit of reverb on the vocal. Okay. Smashing bottles on a dance room floor. I spot this model I've been searching for. Smashing bottles on a dance room floor. I spot this model I've been searching for. Okay. Sp okay, there's the reverb. Now, what I'm doing, follow me now. I'm, I'm, I'm taking, this is sending to my reverb. This bus, I'm sending to bus 22. Now, bus 22 is controlling this gate, which is slapped across the output of the reverb. So the, the information on bus 22 tells this gate when to open and close. That information is the vocal itself. So the, the, the reverb is being sent, the entire vocal, and, it, and it's creating a reverb. Now, when the vocal's not playing, the, the gate's going to close, so you don't hear that tail. I'm, let me show you. You heard it without, without the gate being on. Smashing bottles on a dance room floor. I spot this model I've been searching for. Okay, now watch what happens. We're going to take the gate. This, this gate is across the reverb return. It's being controlled by the vocal itself. Bus 22, watch this. Smashing bottles on a dance room floor. I spot this model I've been searching for. See, the, the, you, you don't hear the reverb in, in the holes where the vocal stops. So you can, you can pump the reverb a little bit and, uh, and not hear it because your ear listens for the holes. It doesn't listen for the reverb. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Smashing bottles on a dance room floor. I spot this model I've been searching for. I love that. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna exaggerate it. Smashing bottles on a dance room floor. I spot this model I've been searching for. Does that sound in time, Drew? Okay, let me, um, let me take the vocal out. And so you can hear exactly what the reverb's doing. Now you can control it. Now I want a little bit of reverb on it. So I, I, I take my range and leave it up here, or you can just make it real stark. I spot this model I've been searching for. Smashing. So remember, uh, you guys that are real familiar with with uh, with gates, you can go ahead and move on to the next thing but you guys are just kind of learning. The key in the side chain are, are, are synonymous terms, essentially, the way we're using them. And so you can take and control the gate with something other than the original source material that you put the gate on. So you, you don't have to be dependent on what you put the gate on. You can put the gate on a reverb and have a vocal control that. You can have a hi-hat control the reverb on a vocal. You can, you can do any number of things. You can take a pad, you can have a hi-hat control that. You can uh, have a guitar part and have, a, have the vocal control the guitar part so that when the vocal's playing, um, it's called ducking. It's, it's a reverse of gating. And when, the, when the vocal's playing, the guitar will automatically come down and rise back up when the vocal's um, not, not going on. Uh, it's the reverse of gating. It's, uh, I guess you'd call it expanding in a way. but um, we call that ducking. So there's any number of things you can use gates for. They're great 
little timing things because a lot of times I'll take the original bass line and I'll let that be controlled by, I'll put a gate across the original bass line and let a kick drum control that. And I don't turn the range all the way down so that the bass, the sustain of the bass, but, but if, if, if the bass and the kick are real compatible, it's the opposite of side chaining. It gives you just a real fat, nice kick drum sound. Okay, guys, hope you learned something. Let me know what you think, and if we need to expand on anything, we will. Back to you, Dave.